When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Got a message. Hey, guys. So I'm kind of fuming and hurt all at the same time. Need some advice on what to do. Okay. Somebody left a handwritten nasty gram on her front door, and I don't know what to do about it. We'll call her Karen for what will be obvious reasons. She thinks her Halloween display in the yard is celebrating Satan and says it's traumatizing the other neighbors. Mm. Like I'm traumatizing everyone? I'll admit we go pretty big for Halloween. The kids have always loved it. We have a huge 12-foot animatronic big bad wolf and a huge grim reaper with many skeletons coming out of graves and fake blood and stuff. Okay. We do a fog machine, spooky sound effects, and music for trick-or-treating. We've only made a few little kids cry, LOL. (laughs) But I was just shocked that this note says we're traumatizing many neighbors. Do you really think a bunch of neighbors are talking about us? Do I confront it by posting the note on the neighborhood Facebook group page? I'm kind of embarrassed about it, but also want to put it out there to embarrass Karen with what I hope will be the other neighbors saying they enjoy our decorations. Mm -hmm. Or should I just, you know, ignore it and keep doing what we do? What do you guys think? I didn't include a pic of the display. I know that you wanted to ask for even more hate, even though I am pretty proud of it, LOL. Uh, I mean, look, the the good news is, is unless you are like our listener, Amber, who is planning on keeping her 12-foot skeleton up until Christmas, <laughs> <laughs> you can... <laughs> You can rest assured knowing that, you know, over the next several days, that stuff will start to come down, but the neighbor will remain, you know, that's, that that I think is the cause for concern probably. And the hard feelings. And then is it awkward? Like how often do you interact with the neighbors and is it going to, I guess, affect the relationships moving forward? Yeah. It's gotta be tough when you find a great house and in a great neighborhood and you move in and you can't really control your neighbors who is living next to you, who is living in the neighborhood. And, and there could be people of uh, all different types uh, there. And, and some may clash with, with what you're, you know, wanting to do and, and, and very vocal about it, which it sounds like is the case here with Margo's neighbor. And, Huh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I think if I'm thinking of it from my point of view, I would probably just not worry about it and say, all right, well, I'm going to be taking the stuff down. And oh, just kind of oh, assume well. that just, maybe it's not as many people as the note right. is, is alluding to. Right, right, like exactly. It might just be them and they just want to make you feel like it's lots of people so they don't feel like the only one that's – you know, party pooper. Now, Brandon texts us and says, always choose the petty route. So, <laughs> so all right. <laughs> what, I mean, add even more? Is that I, is that what we do? Maybe, or post it up on Facebook or try to, you know, um, shame this person. I don't know if, if, if that's a case. Like, it's, you know, I, uh, I, I mean, that's a I, difficult I thing it. to knock on the door and say, I think you're terrorizing the neighbors. Oh, I got you know, that's Well, and that's why, why it was an anonymous note. Notes. Yes. Exactly. Because yes. they know that's not, that's a difficult conversation and can be confrontational. A lot of people hate confrontation. I know I do. Do you, did this ever happen to you? Did you get a note or get someone who complained about your decorations? Do you have a story to tell us? 502-795-1997. Uh, again, I think the good news in this is that Unless she's planning to keep her Halloween decorations up for the remainder of the year, you know, there is a small window with which they will still remain up. Yes, but the feelings will linger. Yeah. The hard feelings. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, 502-795-1997. Your story is on the way next. 9970JF. Uh, we're in the middle of group therapy where Margot's neighbor thinks her Halloween display in the yard is, quote, celebrating uh, all things bad. It thinks it's traumatizing the other neighbors. So she's just kind of like, hey, is should I just ignore it and all that or just keep doing what I'm doing? Yeah, so many people are all like, listen, if it's a choice between being kind and being petty, be petty. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Brooke sent this link to a... A news story where this uh, house in Utah 
you know, kind of the same situation people are complaining. And so neighbors contributed to make it worse. And it's um, it's a a skeleton strip club scene in the front yard. (laughs) Yeah, well... Skeleton upside down. There have been a lot of (laughs) these stories around here, like one out of Washington where there was a neighbor or a school had to put up a privacy fence to try to block students from seeing what they saw were the um, quote boning skeletons. Oh my! In the front yards of of a neighbor. Oh, and Larry sent a picture. He said, "This is in my neighborhood," and Mm -hmm. it's oh my. Oh my. It's skeletons on a date, we'll say. Uh yeah. All right, Justin, what happened in your neighborhood? My my first house, my neighbor measured my grass <gasps> every two weeks. Oh to find no. out. Yeah, and then would call the code enforcement officer on me if it was a little bit taller. So I read the code and found out that dirt wasn't against the rules. So I just I made my yard all dirt. Oh my to get gosh. back at him. Oh, wow, you that. went hard. So much worse looking. Oh, my gosh. You went hard. Yeah. How long did you <laughs> leave it like that? Oh, for a full year. Like, oh, I, get I, out. I would go out there. I bought, I bought a machine that took the top layer of your grass off uh-huh. oh, so wow. that it was just – and I was one of the first houses in the neighborhood, but there was nothing in the rules against it. So oh, I dang. fully believe that if you if – you start a war you finish it much harder okay <laughs> all right thanks justin wow uh, that's commitment yeah yeah so I, we we actually got some texts from uh, listeners that were like yeah pretty sure this is someone who actually lives close to me it's worse than just decorations looks like halloween threw up in their yard oh wow all right all right so Listen, i kind i appreciate the effort if it's not like massively inappropriate for kids I'm fine with however, you know, big you want to go. I think it's pretty great. In fact, I want to kind of do, you know, a lot of families, and we do this, drive around looking at Christmas lights displays. And, and you know, every year I want to go around and, and drive around and see Halloween displays, especially if you go big. A lot of people do it in Hillcrest. Well, that's why I was going to say that's big. why Hillcrest is such a busy time uh, this time of year. So Yes. All right. Well, hey, uh, hopefully, Margo, um, you've got some support on your side or at least some general direction on how you can approach this with the neighbor. Um, you know, hey, look, uh, do, do, whatever you decide to do, if you if nothing else, the Halloween the decorations can come down if you choose here in the next couple of days. So, yeah, um, hopefully but, but it should I get- subside. You don't want like awkward feelings right, of, right. you know, hard feelings 100%. between your neighbors. You know, that's not, that's not fun. All right. There you go. That is your group therapy.